Terran versus Protoss on Securas. Very close. Yeah, I think the map is not going to decide the winner. Uh, pretty. You think it's going to go to a 2-1-1 uh, uh, one, one right now? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I think... Uh, I'm not sure, but I think Poyo will do the same thing again. Uh, the fast command center and... Uh, I don't think Grubby will do a fast next again, so he will be behind in income this time. And I'm not sure what his reaction will be to the fast command center of Poyo, because I'm pretty sure he will do it again. All right, well, we'll see. Uh, we'll find out extremely shortly. Let's go into the game. Let's go live, live, live. And uh, uh, there it is. Here on Secura, uh, Secura's Plateau, Grubby spawning as the green Protoss in your top left. And uh, Poyo will spawn as the blue Terran in the top right. No problem here. Let's see uh, how this is going to pan out. What, what are the options, though, that uh, Poyo has at this point? Because he is behind one map. Uh, you reckon he may go for a desperate all-in or no. No way. Just hold off as long as he possibly can? I think he, will, he won't all-in. Poyo isn't the player to all-in. Uh, but this map actually is really good for the well-known 1-1-1 one, one, one all-in. Because uh, in these positions, especially, you can harass with the benches really easily and then uh, contain him uh, at his natural and build a lot of bunkers as well. Yeah, pretty much. We'll have to see uh, if they're going to do anything like that. So far, though, opening seems to be fairly standard. No problem whatsoever. Um, yeah, again, like you said, it's all going to be up up uh, about that for fast expand, if that's going to happen. If it does, let me know exactly what is up. We already see the first barracks from Poyo coming out. Chrono boosting on Grubby, so he's just focusing completely on the macro currently. Well, I think Grubby is going to do a fast nexus again. This is so strange. I wouldn't expect that from Grubby. Wow. Yeah, he's going for a fast nexus again. We see the pro running down. Oh, right straight to the natural. And... There it is. Another fast expand by Grubby. I'm not sure if I actually agree with this. It's risky, you think? Yeah. Too, too close together? Yeah, it's really risky. It's always risky. If you get scouted directly, yeah, and Poyo will directly scout it with an SCV, he might just all in from this because uh, Poyo was planning to do the command center again. Right. But uh, when he sees this, I think he, w he might just throw up like four or three barracks and all in with a lot of SCVs. That would be a great move because I don't think there's any way for Grubby to hold it. And we see Poyo scouting it. There it is. Poyo knows. Poyo sees. And Poyo takes. We'll and also scout the gateway. What's his reaction? I'm really curious. It seems like he will just continue with his plan of getting the yeah, command not, center. Not pull, pulling off his SCVs off, wow. the, come off the line just yet. And so yeah, going for a fast expand as well. Poyo going for another macro game. And wow. But his command center is delayed so much, so he will be behind in economy again. A grubby should be able to overtake him then. Yeah. Fairly quickly, depending on if he's going to go for any upgrades at all. If he's going to go for a tech build or anything along those lines. There he is, just trying to churn out these zealots as fast as he possibly can. I can't believe he's doing it again. This is so risky. Well, he's always been a very risky player in, in Warcraft as well. He was one of the people that uh, managed to uh, create the King Orc uh, gameplay, which he abused like nothing else. Uh, which made a lot of people uh, hate him for it, let's just <laughs> say that. But uh, it's good to see him play extremely risky here in StarCraft 2 as well. Funnily enough, ESWC has cancelled their Warcraft 3 tournament in favor of uh, StarCraft 2 because of lack of interest. Which is pretty much predictable because uh, nobody wanted to play Warcraft. Because why would you waste as a couple of weeks of your time, of your training time on StarCraft, to re-rotate re back into towards uh, Warcraft? Is a little bit beyond beyond me, but we'll have to see. More fa factory coming out. I haven't actually seen any sieges so far. Nah, I don't think we will see any siege play, especially in TVP. It's yeah, pretty bad. And also on this map, you need to be spread out really well to. Uh, to make sure you don't die to Blinkstalk or Colossus walking into your base. I think we're going to see the same exact thing from Poyo again. 
with uh, fast meta effects. Maybe a dual drop again because it really paid paid off last time. Well, the factory is is about to be finished, so we'll see whether or not he's going to go straight towards the starport with a uh, reactor attached to it. No, oh. no, oh. yeah, that should not be too difficult to overcome. There we go. Wow. Actually, he's Grubby. actually managed to lose one marine to those zealots. Yeah, and he killed two zealots, so that's a great trait for Poyo there. And he might try to do some earlier pressure than the last game. Whoa, and taking down shields? I think if he... Yeah, he might even clear the watch. Nah, he's going for Metafax again. So we will wait for the Metafax and probably do a dual drop again, yeah, like the, he did last time. Yeah, there's the Starport reactor combo, yes. like you already mentioned. They will switching those over very, very quickly, very soon. With the stim in combo, and we will see a Robo being built. Now, is he going to go for those Colossi again? It, it's, it has all the looks of it. Yeah. I really want to say he's going for Twilight Council, but I'm afraid he will get the Robotics Bay again. And we're going to see it right now. He has a lot of gas, so yeah, I guess it will be a Robotics Bay. Oh, actually dropping his gas. Yeah, Robotics Bay, pretty sure. We're about to find out. Currently, supply-wise, both sides pretty much even. even. Uh, Units-wise, three Marauders and 12 Marines. We're still not seeing any medevacs whatsoever. They are being produced right now. Are we going to see another drop? He has the possibility to actually do something here because there's nothing defending this mineral line. And there's another factory. There's the other factory again. Our hero factory. Hero factory just plowing forward like a bouse. Like a bouse. For sure. Um, yeah, robotics again for uh, Grubby. So. Yep. It looks like it's going to be another Colossi build. Still no defense on the mineral line, though. Those... Uh, Stalkers were pretty much onto that early on in the ne in the previous map, but uh, this observer is going to spot any medevac coming unless no he misses it. Oh. This will be terrible for Grubby. He has no watchtower, so he won't notice. If he drops now, I think this will be really bad for Grubby. So good for Poyo. Yeah, do do will drop. Oh yeah. Oh, this will do a lot of damage. If he can get it on the correct mineral line, and if he moves now. Oh. And he's just wait. waiting and waiting and waiting, allowing... Oh, he's going for maybe for the uh, distract at the front again. Yeah, I guess so. And he sees it now, so he's going to drop. And uh, I just there want to... There they go, there they go. I just want to tell you that it was like the third time in two minutes that Poyo was supply blocked as well. Oh, no! Oh, he missed the dr misses oh, the drop! Oh, 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 oh. Oh, and Grubby sees oh, it. Oh, and he sees it. There we go. Oh. All the stalkers move back. Oh, oh. that's going to be horrible. Well, actually, Grubby losing his first stalker already. Yeah, but there's already going to lose zealots. Uh, zealots. Two zealots right there. Well, I think this might be pretty good for Poyo. Actually, he has to pick up right now. He has to pick up, otherwise he will lose too much. There's no blink, so he will get away. And if he has to go back with his, uh, the natural of Grubby, he actually is killing pylons and uh, taking out a zealot. Uh, nah, he won't. Uh, uh, oh uh, no. <sighs> Losing, yeah, losing all of his marines there, but he still has a strike force. He's going at it again, but there's already Colossus there. Wow, if he kills his Colossus, that would be huge. But he, he, he lets... Oh, it's no. just no... It's like a sliver. There's only 9 HP remaining on the Colossus. Oh, yo, oh, yo, oh, yo. Oh. So, so close. Ay, ay, ay. Well, if he would have gotten that Colossus, it would have been big. But, yeah, now it's like, okay. And again, we're seeing the weapons upgrades from Terran right now. Poyo just churning it out, but he's again getting that slight disadvantage in supply. Yeah, but now I it's 10. Oh, oh, oh. oh. EP. EP. Okay, he needs to go for a piss. Um. Okay, oh yeah, I know, he's, he's managed to hit control shift. Yeah, basically, yeah. Uh, Basically, what happened, uh, he had control shift and he messed up all of his uh, keybinds, which is what happened. Oh, in the meantime, though, uh, Oyo making these mistakes he really should not be making, and now we're seeing Grubby almost fin finishing up his lance. I think, I'm not sure if we should continue talking because they might hear us. Maybe. Maybe. We'll have to see. Still, though, uh, is WC determined so far? Uh, have you had any any specific predictions for the for the final? Like, was this pretty much uh, uh, the the players that are currently in the semis, or at least that have won themselves the semis so far? Which are uh, I'm quickly going to need to check. 
uh, which is uh, Thermo managed to win himself a spot in the final. Uh, w did you pretty much expect him to be in that final? No. No? No. You thought Sushi was going to be in that final? Uh, yeah. Sushi just came back from a holiday. So I think that also played a role. But uh, Thermo played really well. And uh, I think he was a bit of an uh, unowner. Right. But, uh, well, it really showed us that he is one of the top tier players in the Netherlands as well. But what I was actually quite surprised is why Red is not here, to be honest. Uh, uh, I think uh, the ESWC uh, clashes with uh, BlizzCon for oh, the finals, the grand finals. Right, right. And he much. goes for the bigger prize money, I guess. Well, so it's BlizzCon in the Bliss, end, yeah. right? So, yeah, what can you say? The creators, man. <laughs> the, the ones. <laughs> the ones who created this. The game has been unpaused. Let's see what is going on. Let's get back to the game. Let's go live, live, live. Uh, Poyo again, slow, slowly but steadily. He's now 20 supply, 15 supply behind on Grubby. Yeah, but this game is, uh, he has his third up already, so it will be less of a problem, except if Grubby decides to kill him now. And I think. Which is exactly what he's about to do. <laughs> yeah, I think. Hello he, there, Marauder. He will just walk in and uh, be like, well, you don't got a lot of units, I will just kill you now. And oh, and this, this uh, planetary yeah, fortress yeah, is yeah, not going to yeah. be up in time either. They need to defend this yeah. one now. Oh, unlucky. Oh, he actually decides not to kill the SCV, so uh, this still is okay for Poyo. Economy-wise, it's fairly decent. But it's still an expand that's not going to be yeah, claimed, to be honest. But uh, Grubby just managed to uh, uh, get his third expand as well. Out macro macroing Terran. Mm. Uh, Protoss. Unique. <laughs> Well, if I generally I always play Zerg, so I was like, "Oh my god, I need to expand now!" Like they've got more expansions than me do. This is not good. Triple hack. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like that's the only way to open. Yeah. Especially when you're playing Bronze League, where everybody's six fools. Like, what's going on, guys? Have some fun with my spine crawlers next to my hatch. <laughs> that's always good. In the meantime, though, oh, ooh, that's some harassment. Yeah, a little yeah. bit. Yeah, they managed to get a couple of shots off. Actually, just a single SCV. On low HP, I wonder how much he actually managed to get out of this. Seems to be there's a lot of SCVs missing. So, what are we looking at here? Let's take a look at the... You know, only eight down for Gra uh, only eight, Gravy. Only managed to kill eight. So, yeah. And that, of course, also includes the scouting SCV. Yeah, in indeed. And so worker supply are fairly even as well, as well as army supply. So, so far, it's still looking a whole lot better for Poyo right now than it was at this stage in the previous game. Yeah, because he's got a lot more units, and he's really focusing on the Vikings, but he still does not have those weapon upgrades, those air upgrades on his Vikings. Yeah, I think he uh, made a mistake last game by not making enough Vikings, because uh, we saw a high Colossi count for Grubby all game long, like four or three Colossi constant. Random Zealot decides to waltz in. It's not going to get very far. And we got ourselves more weapons being upgraded. And there's the Templar Archives. Very, very late in this game. When we were at this stage previously, we would... Oh, dear. That's... that's Oh, dear. Oh, that's no. a planetary... And, oh. and the Colossi will get kicked. Oh! Nice uh, blink again, by Grady. Again, that single Colossi! <laughs> Hero a single Colossi. Colossus. How many kills does he actually right, have? Let's take a look at how many kills this Colossus actually has. It can't be that much. One. No, no it's the wrong Colossus. Eight. 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 Well, it's a good one. It's all right. It's not like a fun day Monday where you need to have a hero unit with 50 hell <laughs> with 50 kills. Yeah, so true. God, I love those. So much fun. I always send my replays. I never get picked. You never get picked. No, I never. Oh, uh, I have to talk to Sean then. Yeah, you like, should. You should. He's like, hey man, this guy is pretty awesome. You may want to get his uh, get his replays in. Actually, five colossus. That's a lot. Uh, and we see a lot of Vikings, a lot of Vikings being produced for uh, Poyo as well. But that also means that we'll cut into his medevac production, so he won't be able to stim too often. And there are no ghosts on the field, if I'm not mistaken. I don't see any ghosts whatsoever. Nope. No ghosts. Wow. It's and a pure marine marauder build. Mostly marauder, actually. Yeah. Wow. Whoa! Uh, this expansion looks like it's going to be toast. Oh, only three, four marauders to defend it. There comes the army of of Poyo. Shields are everywhere. This expansion is lost. Oh, if he storms those Vikings now, that would be huge because then the Colossi would be useless. And, well, big battle. I think this is looking great for Poyo, actually. He is pulling ahead in the supply. Well, and killing all the Colossi. I and think Poyo five, has this game. Only five Stalkers remaining. Look at all those Marines. 
And Marauders with four medevacs to back him up. Yeah, this is looking very, very good for Poyo right now. And going in for a Doom Drop now. Yep. I'm not sure if I actually agree with this. I think he could just take down a third base and there would be like, Yeah, you mad, Boro? Yeah. Mad because bad. Yo, yo, what's going on? Oh, more gates coming out. Um, and a double command center for Poyo. Of, of course, he lost his third base, so I guess that would yeah. make sense. He's just rebuilding one yeah. here, and he's just building one on the uh, natural as well. Actually, not on the natural, my apologies, because that's over here. One zealot slashing away at his fourth command center, but the zealots get... No, it isn't taken out yet, is it? Is it? No. Uh -huh. And the SV manages to... I will take you alive! There we go. It actually matches... That's wasted energy for that Marauder right now. In the meantime... All of these Vikings, all of these medevacs. Huh? Actually, Stims. Uh, what, what happened? I think we missed the. I think he misclicked, because that's a weird moment to go for the Stim. Can he manage to kite these zealots? Oh, oh. there comes the storm. Only oh, one, oh, though. Oh, oh, oh. And I don't think he has energy for more storms. Maybe one more? Uh, yeah, he one more. Should be able to pop one off. But. There's uh, just. Uh, these medevacs are too busy healing up all of these marauders. Well. Food-wise, it doesn't look as healthy for Poyo as it sh as it looked like a few minutes ago. I don't know what happened. Whoa, actually, trying to take down some gateways. Not really working out. No, not even getting the assimilator either, because there's too many zealots right here. A little bit of shield being removed. I think he should focus on one building instead of first focusing down the assimilator and then the gateway. Look, look at this boss of a factory at the top of the map. <laughs> look at that. That's a total, total baller. <laughs> Oh, I should not use that term, by the way. That's 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 horrible. In the meantime, though, engagement once again going on away. But on the meantime, we got ourselves a drop in the middle of Grubby's base. Will he be able to cope with this double attack? He's going to rotate quickly. Well, he needs to pick up now. He needs to pick up now. He needs to get the hell out. Ah, there's a speed lock. Oh, he might actually stay in. And Grubby isn't really focusing, so his Colossi isn't attacking. No, he, they're just they're just going back and forth. They're just going back and forth with the uh, with the High Templar. Oh, okay. Well, it would be a good idea to pick up now. Yeah, I guess. It is, it, yeah. When, just when you're yeah, when there's psionic blades from zealots, kind of dashing into your skull, you pretty much know it's time to get the hell out of there. And there's the Mobius reactor and level three Terran wow. upgrades. That is hardcore stuff right there. And Grubby is only a level two. So if uh, Poyo, no, oh. Oh, luckily Poyo uh. didn't run in the storm all the way. Oh, still Grubby with the workers killed. 42 versus 11. Pretty much in the lead. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that APM. That's total, totally Steady awesome. 200 APM. Yeah. Yeah, great. It's, yeah, it's not, it's not, yeah. It's, it's not, not J-Dong 400 APM, <laughs> like, right up, what's going on, but. You jelly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Look at his minerals as well. This is ridiculous. Both sides holding really? off a very, very similar play. Grubby, once again, though, his supply is 40 ahead of Poyo, maxing out his supply. What is he doing? He's managed to get himself yet another expansion. So it's five base versus four base, but I don't think any... Uh, I think No, no, only... no, is it? Yeah, it's four base, sorry. Yeah, but only three bases are running for Poyo at this moment, so it actually is like two base versus four because the one of Grubby is running. Oh, oh he's, he's going, going to go around. around. And a great EMP hitting all the high Templar. Well, I don't think Grubby wants to continue this. No, he no. needs to fall back. He has it's, no yeah. side storms there. And as well, a little amount of stalkers. And oh, oh actually stimming. Wow, terrible. Stimming all his units. So, matter of fact, he has but a lot he's of got, He's yeah. got 12 <laughs> medevacs, so he's... No problem. No problem what's going on, guys. No. Double drop now. And uh, b this is... Uh, I really hate this as a Protoss player. If people uh, drop me like Poyo is doing now, and you can't warp in any units because you're... Uh, Supply max, so uh, he probably will just lose his fourth base down there. Yeah, we can see the two medevacs go. Oh, even three! Wow, it completely fell to the brim. Uh, and oh, oh, there's a single high temple out of there. Uh, oh, won't matter. Oh. Won't matter. Won't nice matter. drop there again, Poyo. <laughs> Second time he's done that in this series. Third time actually in this series. We'll be able to take out this expand. Uh, he has to focus the. Oh, actually the colossi. Uh, oh, terrible pathing from the colossi. If he just takes out those colossi, that would be huge. But he decides to die. Get the hell out? I don't know. Nah. Oh, uh, yeah, oh yeah. that's that map drop could have gone better. Oh, but in the middle, uh, Poyo is moving out and Grubby has to regroup and a great storm from Grubby there. 
Wow. Oh, another great storm. Oh, dear, these Marauders getting slashed to bits. Well, that was an interesting move. Sadly <laughs> enough, it did not actually get very far. Well, I really like Poyo's transition. How many Marauders did he lose there? But look at oh, that. Yeah. Look at that. It's just ridiculous. Like 3-3. Three, three. On everything, he had the opportunity. He actually moved out as soon as, and there is we ship weapons now as well. More stuff being built. Oh, that's a lot of photon Wait, cannons. What? 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 Like that was my best DJ Weed impression right there. Like all I'm waiting now is for an Hydra GG, and then 11 we're done. Eleven cannons. Uh, yeah. Well, when in doubt, guys, build as many cannons as you possibly can because there's their engagement uh, in the middle, and you know you're going to be winning because you've got so much stuff on the map. Yeah, because then you can do whatever you want. Basically, build eleven cannons, and then you make stupid mistakes and lose your entire army versus a whole bunch of marauders, and you just wasted a crap ton of minerals on eleven cannons. <laughs> Well, I really like the transition, like winning the game. transitioning into 11 cannons. Yeah. <laughs> winning the game into making 11 cannons. Making it exciting for the casters again. Yeah, apparently. Uh, uh, I don't fully agree with the move no, of making 11 no, cannons. No, especially not. But, because look at this. Uh, like he's got, he's got level 3 weapons uh, and level 2 armor. Poyo is still at a weapon advantage. And he can, he's consistently outplay Grubby on the middle of the field. But at this point, I'm just feeling that Grubby making like making minor pushes in, like slightly little stabs, tiny stabs into the. Yeah, he's certainly he's looking to expand here, no doubt. And he's got blink as well. Oh, look at that! Uh, great engagement and no EMPs there for uh, Poyo. Well, there are his ghosts and great EMP hitting all the high Templar. And Grubby will need to fall back. Yeah. Um, oh, that's the dead Archon. And I think Poyo looking extremely strong here. Yeah, if he kills those Colossi, it would be a good move. Like a real good, oh. really good. Oh, there goes the Hello Hero Colossi. One more would be good. No, the Zealots coming. Oh, he does kill the second Colossus. But the Zealots are there. There are no units left for Poyo, so this might actually just be GG. Uh, no, there's only, yeah, when in doubt, just use Medivax. Oh, 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 there's SCVs. SCV train. All those SCVs transitioning to an already saturated base. This doesn't really look like a good idea to yeah, When there's already Stalker there, which is going to go down. But how many Eventually. kills? 11 kills. Uh, uh, he's going to get 12. 13 probably. 12. Yeah. If he focuses and he just managed to get Protoss armor level 3. <laughs> uh, look at how oh. slow. Oh. That is just... That is just painful. Look at that. Look at that guy. Like, he may have died, my friend. His no, life. and he blinks out! Oh, this sadly does not manage to do anything. And a fresh <laughs> one comes in! Oh, but actually being hit by the planetary. But now in the middle, I think, uh, little skirmishes going. And no Colossi there. So that's pretty bad. If he hits his EMPs really well, I think Poyo might still be able to come back, but. The food difference is so extremely big, and there are actually, yeah, he has no units. I think Grubby can just waltz in and be like, da, 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 da. Like, what's going on, guys? It's a nice base you got there. Nice SCVs. Nice yeah. Base. What's up? Wow. Well, yeah, this is kind of over. I think Grubby should just finish it now and play the final. Oh. Well, trading two Marauders for a Templar. Okay, I guess. And there is that factory again. That factory has been chilling out all game. Forever alone factory. 30 minutes now. I'm not sure what he's planning on doing. I think he should just finish. He shouldn't allow Poyo to come back now. Oh, well, he still has a fairly significant force of... Uh, Marauders. Yeah, but just one EMP there. I think if he just walks in with High Templar now, he might just kill his whole army because he has no ghosts whatsoever. And yeah, he should just go. I, I don't. Uh, no High Templar. Oh, there they are. Oh, uh, oh. No EMPs now. I think two ghosts were being rallied in. So yeah, more ghosts coming in now for Poyo. So I think Grubby waited a bit too long and he. Well, he still should attack because he's 40 foot behind and he has better, well, he has equal upgrades, except for shield, so... 
I don't know what he's really waiting for. Maybe he wants to get like 6k, 2k, and then attack and reinforce with 50 gates or something. I'm not sure. <laughs> 4,400 minerals. Yeah, five, four. eight, six, seven. Wow. Crazy guy. Yeah, there they eight all are. Gateways. Oh my god. Nine gateways being uh, morphed in right now. And finally going for uh, shields upgrades gateways, as well. Thir uh, 13, 13 gateways. And he still has uh, so many minerals to spare. Gates. He's going for carriers as well, I guess. Uh -huh. Or a mothership. Oh, uh, he won't. Uh, if he gets a mothership, that'd be crazy. Yeah. And Poyo would notice because. And another expansion. Yeah, it lags a little bit when the mothership gets out. So that would be sick. But I think he might just finish it now. I'm not sure. I think he's actually one. He wants to wait for his mothership, I think. Just have a little bit of a... Uh, oh, those, mar those marauders. Not... Not good. Not, not good. good at all, mm. no. Nah. Mm. And uh, can we take a look at how many gateways he actually has? Oh, um, well... Oh. That's like yeah, 50 oh. and another 50 in his main base. So. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's uh, a significant amount of, uh, of gateways, yeah. I don't want to be landlording that stuff. They're everywhere. Uh, They're literally everywhere. And a Stargate. Are we actually going to see... Gravi uh, drive. Gravity so drive. War prison. Maybe. The back of the base. Dropping Colossi. Maybe. Mass recall mothership. <laughs> Something. That'd be cool. It would be so epic if Poyo would still come back. And oh, yeah. It's like suddenly, yo, what's going on? I got battle cruisers. <laughs> Something along those lines. <laughs> You jelly. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see the uh, Ice Series uh, final, by the way? Uh, With the one hour and 12 minute match where they had, where, where uh, one of the guys, where Mertz managed to kill 400 m workers. No, I didn't see Yeah, it. kill 400 <laughs> workers, and it was something like 16 or 17 Thors on the map uh, at one point. Like Thor <laughs> army. The base on the stage was so, so, uh, set up so high that you could literally feel them walking as they were coming out of the, uh, out of the factories. It was quite ridiculous. Oh, good EMPs from Poyo, but he just doesn't have the forces to to kill Grubby right now. I, yeah, Grubby is just waiting and waiting. And I'm still waiting for his uh, mothership, actually, to arrive. Or even carriers. So you can say, carrier has arrived. Carrier has arrived. That, that's something you don't see in a game. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. pretty much. Yeah. All you can say right now about this current situation is pretty much, yeah, 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 that's uh, that's bad. Yeah, that's yeah. that's one of those things where you just think by yourself. Um, uh, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> uh, because right now Grubby is on a little bit of a, well. Vacation, I guess. Trying yeah. to take out uh, these Colossi aren't even dropping. Uh, Look at that. Level 3, level 2, and level 3. And he has he's not even going for level 3 plasma shields just yet. I don't think he has the money to... Uh, I don't think he can actually afford plasma shields right now. I think 5k, 1k. He has so little gas and almost no minerals. Well, he did, build, he, did, he did manage to get this expansion just now. Oh, yeah. And there's uh, this expansion right here and that expansion right there. That's still running on gas. This one's probably mined out. Yeah, it is. This one, main, old mole already mined out. Sector, yeah, that's still... Oh. <laughs> there we go. That's the, the fleet bacon. Bacon. Bacon, bacon? bacon yeah. Bacon. 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 Who doesn't like bacon? Bacon is, of course, one of those uh, cornerstones of a, of a good, healthy nutrition. True story. True story, absolutely. Bacon strips. And uh, I think we might see... Uh, I think we might see... A Is he actually going to hold off trying to get carriers in or mothership? I think it will be a mothership. And I think... I'm not sure wh what Poyo is trying to achieve. Well, he's just standing in the side storms is what he's doing. Uh, he has a lot of medivacs. Uh, uh, well, it's over. add a lot of medivacs. Because it's GG! Uh, Poyo will lose in the semi-final. To the nil. Very, very interesting game, or game uh, just now. Remember, it is best of three right here, and Grubby managed pretty much pull it out as long as he possibly could. could. Um, yeah, fast expand again on both sides. Yeah. Yeah, it's one of those...
I didn't see that coming. We had both had a little bit of discussion, like what the hell's going on here, but apparently it worked. Yeah. Yeah. 16 Nexus. Absolutely. Let's uh, see where this is going to go. We're going to go towards the grand final very, very shortly. It's going to be Euthermal versus Grubby in this grand final. We'll be right back with you here on Chaos TV.